Are, are you a songwriter? Are you looking to turn your songwriting passion into a full-time gig? Whether you are just at the start of your songwriting journey or a seasoned industry professional, this show is made for you. Welcome to The Songwriter Show, bringing together songwriting news, interviews, and community. Now, welcome your host, Sorantos. Thank you for tuning in and welcome back to The Songwriter Show right here on Reality Radio 101. I'm your host, Sorantos, a solo music artist who's been writing lyrics for as long as I can remember. Words are the world to me, and that's why I'm thrilled to host this show for you every single Tuesday evening. I believe in my heart that every song is a story. Tonight, I'm excited to have Charity Daw and Josh Edmondson on the show. Charity Daw and Josh Edmondson are a Nashville-based husband and wife team of RIAA Platinum and Billboard Chop Topping producer-songwriters that specialize in custom music for TV, film, brands, recording artists, and gaming. Their tunes have amassed over a billion streams to date, while gaining them a media-spanning roster of clients and credits, including toy brands, TV series, movies, commercials, and major label artists such as Zendaya, Dove Cameron, We The Kings, and Ringo Starr. And now, welcome this week's special guest. Welcome to the show. How are you guys doing tonight? Good. How you doing? Awesome. I'm doing great. I'm like reading your bio and I'm like in awe here. I mean, it, I feel like I shouldn't be talking to you here. <laughs> well, thanks for having us on. Yeah, thanks for having us. You're welcome. So you guys definitely seem like you're busy. Is that like an understatement? We are busy. <laughs> yeah, that, that would be an understatement, but it's good. We love to, we love we to like, stay busy. We like being busy. Yeah. How is Nashville? It's one of my favorite places in the world. How is it? Is it buzzing tonight? Is it uh, always the same? It is, you know, it's it's alive every single day, and it's grown so much. We used to live here um, many years ago and moved to LA, and now we're back. And the city has really evolved, but it still has its kind of things that make it Nashville. You know, yeah. um, we we really like the the work life balance here, and just the community and the musicianship is unmatched, and almost everyone that we're friends with and hang with and do family stuff with is in music in some way. So that's really awesome. Yeah, it definitely has charm. Yeah, that's a perfect word to describe it. I was just thinking that charm. That's exactly what Nashville has. Yeah. yeah. So did you miss, uh, do you miss LA or, <laughs> or is the quieter Nashville scene a little more to your liking? I think it's, I think it's a little bit of both. I mean, there's, uh, you know, we were in LA for 10 years, so it's, you know, there, we definitely have a soft spot for it. Mm -hmm. Um, but, uh, you know, we moved here, uh, I guess it's almost two years now. And when we, when we moved back, it was supposed to be kind of temporary, um, just during the pandemic. But then we found out that, uh, Charity was pregnant. So we decided to just have the baby here. And so now we're just kind of just here. So yeah, it's a loaded question. Cause our life is so different. Yeah. So when we think about LA and missing it, we also miss like, you know, kind of our old lifestyle, but we, you know, it's nothing compared to to now, you know, with our, with our little baby. So it's just a totally, it feels like a different world and a different lifetime ago, even though it wasn't that long ago. Yeah. Congrats. That's very Thank special. You. And I'm Thanks. glad that you're starting a family and I think Nashville is a great place to do that. Yeah, definitely. it is. It definitely is. So tell us a little bit about, before we get into your songwriting process, what instruments, vocals, what do each of you guys do? Just so we can talk a little bit about your process after that. Yeah, we love talking shop. Yeah. <laughs> this is so cool because, it, you know, it's a, it's a, about the craft of songwriting and we get to geek out. So we're always excited to to talk process and talk shop. Um, but, you know, Josh and I were, were partners and we kind of do what the other one doesn't. And we also interchange a lot. Um, I think one thing that we feel kind of gives us a, an edge is that we can do everything between the two of us from zero to finish. Mm -hmm. Um from conceptualizing to writing to producing, mixing, mastering, everything. Um, so, you know, between the two of us, um, I would say I'm definitely like more of a lyricist, um, a vocalist. Um, I like to comp vocals, I like to produce vocals, um, and Josh is a great producer and plays everything. And I mean, well, yeah, I'm a guitar player, I guess, by trade. That's what I kind of came up playing in the band you know, and stuff like that. But, you know, it's when you start 
making records, you just you learn quick to do a lot of other things. I really love playing bass, um, and I love programming drums. I like doing you know all that kind of stuff. So it's yeah, it's it's well, a lot, it's a good time. In Nashville, we've been bringing more people into our process, which is another great thing about being here, is that so readily available and people are more likely to kind of jump in on things. So whereas if, you know, in LA, we would have just maybe gone to a sample here. We're like, oh, we should definitely get- Let's get so-and-so. So-and-so yeah, because they're yeah. just so good and it's so fun and they'll, they're right down the street and they'll they're, come over and like lay an amazing guitar solo. They're, so they're always down to clown. It's, we're opening yeah. up our process more than we had in LA to kind of go back to the first question is we're, we have a little bit more of community and we're exploring collaborating a little more where I felt like in LA, we were just like the two of us in a studio with no windows and like that was kind of, almost every single project but right, right. We're, we're inviting kind of other energies in which is cool you know you mentioned something that i think i have i've been doing this officially this started my ninth year but i never really thought about collaborating before but like you said the more you get into it it's great to get a fresh take on things and i love the nashville thing where if there's three people in a room you each get a third who cares who did the lyrics or the melody or the drum groove right. Yeah. And it's just this creative freedom. And I, I am new to collaborate. I've been doing it the last year or two, and I wish I could do it more often. But I think it's it's really a lot of fun to do some stuff outside of your own thing. Yeah. I think it's cool. I mean, it's it, it just helps to inspire, you know. I mean, even between, Char you know, Charity and I collaborate on so many different things. But, you know, to get to collaborate with somebody like a Sam Hollander, who we've done that quite a bit, or like a Shelley Pike, and, you know, some of these other bigger songwriters is just it's such a such a blessing and so cool and just really you know it, it's it's really cool and especially being back in Nashville being able to collaborate with some of the people here it just, it just it makes kinda, you better it makes you better and, yeah. and sharper and also someone's always going to bring in a perspective that you didn't see or you know I love when we come out with something and I think like I never would have written that by myself or I never would have thought of it this way but just having that one extra perspective or that one extra style uh, really evolves it which is always exciting especially the two of us you know we again we work alone a lot so it's always sure. good to, to bring in something fresh yeah and like you said too how cool is it to we can all pretend we do everything but at the end of the day you are creating something and if you have an awesome guitarist and bass and drummer it's just it's that whole other level. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't do that stuff by yourself, no matter how much we think we can. Absolutely. Well, and I think, too, I mean, it, it's it's not even, like, especially here, you know, the musicianship here is just, like, to me, it's it's just second to none anywhere yeah. else. And there's people that just, that's what they do. They just focus on playing an, a certain instrument, and they've got their gear, you know, kind of catered towards it. Like, they've... And sometimes if you're a producer, you don't really, you don't necessarily do that, you know? So it's, it's cool to bring people in that play and they have, they have all the toys and everything like, you know, it's just, it's just really cool. Yeah. So tell us about your songwriting process. I know you guys kind of do different things, but how does it start? Do you start with an idea? Do you work it? Do you just tell us a little bit about it? Well, we write a lot for television, um, like animated series, films, brands, commercials, a lot of it starts with a brief. So we usually start with quite a bit of direction, especially if it's for something super specific, a character, um, a, a show that already has like developed characters and a plot and the song is really kind of to move the story along. Um, so when we, usually we have a brief and we have to accomplish so many different things. Like we have to say, you know, certain, slogans in the song or a lot of times we work, we work with a lot of toy brands and we have to kind of incorporate what the functions of the toy are or like buzzwords or things so we end up kind of getting this like bag of confetti that we have to make sense of sure and um and it kind of keeps us in like we have like bumpers on our on our writing process in those circumstances but we also every now and then get into a situation where a director is just like we need an awesome song our character is a songwriter it just needs to kind of have like a melancholy vibe and we get to completely be ourselves and we get to envision what that would sound like and use our own filters and that's always really fun too so they're each challenging for different reasons but um 
but it's really nice that we get to do both because I think if we only had one kind of way, we, we might be a little creatively fatigued. You know? Right, right. Yeah, that's wonderful to hear. Are there any inspirations that you guys have, like maybe your top one or two each? Oh, I think, uh, I think like for me, um, like Lynn Manuel Miranda, I think it's an incredible. I think uh, Bobby and Kristen Lopez. We just love world builders, uh, people who are writers, but they're writing um, and also creating and also uh, conceptualizing and writing story and creating spaces. So for me, those are the people that I feel like are doing what we do on the highest level. I would, yeah, I would throw Pasek and Paul in there too. Oh, I mean, yeah. they're, they, they do a lot of amazing things. Um, so yeah, for like the TV and film thing, I mean, they're just, they're just doing what we want to do. And, and that's kind of what we've, we, you know, are just kind of pushing to get to. And I think, I think all the people we named, made something that pushed pop culture forward that left like this huge dent yeah. where the entire world was singing along, <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah. um, from like, let it go to like, we don't talk about Bruno to, you know, this is me, like these giant songs that are like unavoidable in the lexicon. I think that that's, you know, we always talk about that. We're like, we just want to make something that make something moves good. the needle and like, that's it. And we can like, you know, Moved to Palm Springs and sell jewelry yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on the side of the road. <laughs> yeah. yeah, awesome. Yeah, we we always like we always like to say that we're just on, we're trying to write the perfect song, you know, just every time out. Just, and, but you know, in the process, it's like we keep writing songs and and now we're making a living doing it, and it's just it's it's really just been a blast. Yeah. What advice would you give to a young songwriter that just moved to Nashville and? wants a little advice from you. I feel like Josh should answer that too. <laughs> he has such great like one liners. <laughs> I, you know, I I would I would say keep your keep your debt to a minimum. I mean, I think a lot of times when people give up, it's it's usually outside things where they have to hmm. you know, they either have to get a real job or whatever, but it's it's kind of like, you know, if you can keep your you're living at a minimum and that way you can take more chances. I think that's important. Yeah. Um, and you know, just stay in it. I remember, um, a, a great songwriter and producer named Dave Katz. When we first moved to LA, he t he gave us that, um, advice. He was just like, you just got to stay in it. He was like, if you, if you stay in it, eventually, you know, the universe aligns and things start happening. And, uh, I, th I think it's, I think that's so important. And, and I think the first thing I said kind of lends it helps out the second thing. <laughs> so, and also, you know, I would also say just focus on just always focus on getting better, you know, like in, in this thing, it's like, there's only a few things you can control. And that's one thing you can control is that, you know, just keep working on your craft, keep getting better and better, you know, like success is kind of you know, at the crossroads of like preparation meets opportunity, opportunity. And like, you know, you can control how you prepare and you can put yourself in the best place for opportunity. So yeah. it's a good thing to remember because there's so many, you know, there's even in a, the most successful career, there's highs and lows, right? There's dry years and there's plentiful years and you know when it's good it's good and then sometimes it kind of slows down and there's ebbs and flows in a in a long career and I think that in times where you're kind of oscillating and you just like might not know what's next or how to put yourself in the way of opportunity you can always focus on yourself your skill set your perspective you know sometimes that's practice and sometimes it's rest and sometimes it's just like living yeah <laughs> i feel like yeah. people who are creative forget that it's always like ten thousand hours like do better be better you know and it's like, <laughs> but, but you have to fill your cup like you have nothing to say if you're not experiencing and living and seeing things and going places and meeting people so i think that's all part of it and people sometimes forget that you know just an experience can be like what you need to kind of write that thing that pushes the needle for your whole entire career. 
Yeah, absolutely. So, so tell us about this song we're going to hear in about a minute here. What inspired it? What do you want to take from it? This is so interesting because, you know, when we got asked for one song, you know, it's like a record scratch a little because we do <laughs> such, we do so many things and it's hard to have one kind of song define what we do because we have this really, and I feel like we're, we're lucky to have this really right. large spectrum of, of things and we have a lot of favorites and we have songs that, you know, maybe our best performing song and our biggest song is not the one that like we feel like represents us the most, <laughs> yeah. you know? So it was interesting, but Josh thought of the song and I was like, yeah, that's, that, that's right. That's a good one. And, um, and I'll tell you a little bit about it. And, um, it was a song that we got commissioned to write for a brand called LOL surprise, which is, I don't know if you have daughters or nieces or yeah, you know, for sure. Yeah. Any like tweens in your life, tween girls, but it's, like the number one selling doll brand globally. It's crazy, but they wanted to take their brand and push it into music and start giving these dolls like original songs and music videos and eventually like tours. And it, it's ended up being something really amazing, but they wanted a song to inspire, empower girls and also be like, you know, I think the one thing they said was we want it to be like the moment in the concert where like the lighters come out and we were like, Oh, like you want like a rock ballad for the ages say no like say no more fam we got you yeah and um it was interesting because we we didn't even think about writing it like oh this is for dolls or this needs to be like for little kids or little girls like we just kind of <laughs> wrote the song we probably would have written the song for any age of person yeah. any type of person um but we just love the way it came out and it's it's been such a great performer for the brand. It has like 20 million streams or something like it. It ended up being being amazing. And they did a campaign. The song was called I'm a Queen. And they, they did like I'm a Queen campaign. And they had all these like little girls on TikTok doing these TikToks and empowering each other. And it ended up becoming this really cool movement. And we're super proud of it. Yeah. Not because we feel like, oh, this is like the best piece of music we've ever written, but because of what it's done and kind of the challenge we got and, and what it became. Yeah, I think that's great. All right, I'll tell you what, let's take a listen and then we'll come back and talk for a few more minutes, okay? Awesome. Okay, everybody, check this out. Here we go. Sometimes we get a little out of sync Like a drum without a beat When we can't find the harmony It's like rock with no Electricity, I can always count on you to catch my vibe. You have a hundred times, so when I see you doubt your shine like glitter on the ground, and I, I want. Just rock that crown and sing it all again. I'm a queen. Let me hear you scream. I'm a queen. 
Well, thank you for sharing that song. That was uh, wonderful to hear. And I can definitely see the talent it's oozing from your pores and you can definitely hear the energy and the momentum of the songs. They draw you in. Oh, thanks, thank man. Thank you. You're welcome. So tell us a little bit about your typical week. You obviously have a work-life balance you're struggling to maintain. Tell us about your typical week. I think you nailed it. I think we're struggling to maintain was like a great way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yeah, our typical well, our typical week has changed a lot yeah. in the last year. Um, but uh, but you know, in a, in a good way. It's interesting because like when you have a kid, like uh, you would think that it would. I mean, it is. It's it takes up a lot of time. It's all consuming. It's you know or whatever. But I think being a creative person, it also helps you to focus. Yeah. You know, I, I just feel like. The, the time that Charity and I are in the studio together, like we really cherish now because um, since he's been around, it's been a lot of, you know, hot potato sometimes where I'm like, I'll go up and work on the track a little bit and then she'll hand them off to me. And then, you know, and then we also, you know, we use a nanny sometimes, but, um, but yeah, it's just, it's, this it's been crazy, but we've managed to, uh, to figure it out. And, yeah. It uh, took a little bit. I, it, I, when I was pregnant, I worked, probably an unhealthy amount looking back I'm like that might have been a little much yeah. considering yeah. but I pushed myself because I didn't know what it was going to be like and you know we we have um we just are in this great sweet spot where we're just getting like a lot of work and it's kind of coming one after the next and I just feel like we didn't want the momentum to drop even though that's not real <laughs> like <laughs> the baby yeah but I like, get it that makes everything. sense yeah so I was like, let me, I'm just going to work as hard as like my body will let me work and my mind will let me work and um, stockpile and set, set us up, if, you know, and, and then we were like, yeah, and then you're, you know, I'll do the baby in the beginning and then you just go and then like, well, and I'll just jump right three months in three weeks. You know, it's like you have these, like, you give yourself these really unrealistic, like, all right, six weeks, like they give you the sign off, like we're, we're back in it. And I just didn't realize like not even physically, like your mind kind of gets rewired, which nobody gave me that brochure. <laughs> nobody told me, <laughs> you know, and that, and that's what I use. Like I need my brain on all cylinders to do my job. And I couldn't believe like how it kind of knocked me out um, for a while. So I feel like even just now, just after the first, he just turned one and I'm like, I feel so focused. I feel so, um, you know, uh, like juices are flowing. I can separate my time. I can, when I'm in the studio and I'm writing, I'm a hundred percent focused. Whereas before, you know, your mind's kind of always on, on him and, and, and all those things. So it was a very challenging year this past year for, for both of us. But for me specifically, I felt like, Oh man, I hope, I hope this returns. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because, it will. Yeah. But you know what? It's become an amazing new normal. And like Josh said, it's really, forced us to kind of create a work work life balance because we probably didn't have much of it before. You know, like we're yeah. just we're very consumed with our work. We love what we do. We do it together. So there's really no reason to like do anything else, right? Like it's not like I'm like, oh I gotta, you know, spend time with my husband who like doesn't want to hear about my job. It's like, no, we're so in it all the time together. So he's kind of forced us to like put our like work hats down and and be people. <laughs> So yeah. that's been really amazing. And, and again, it's probably helping our creativity and our workflow. Um, anyway, so it's it's been really interesting kind of recalibrating everything. But but it's also great because we get to be with him and he gets to kind of be with us. And we, you know, he dances around our studio and tries to turn buttons on our, you know, amps and stuff. So <laughs> yeah. he's already growing up in, in a very creative environment. And For we sure. think that's really cool. That's awesome. So two things. One, I want you guys to give me your website, your socials, whatever you want people to buy your stuff, stream it, or songwriters to contact you to possibly work with you. The second thing, as you said, something, an amazing new normal, and I just thought song title, song title. <laughs> so yeah. I feel like that's a song <laughs> someone's got to write. That's yeah, right. There you go. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Tell us your website where people can buy your stuff, contact you if they want to do gigs with you or have you produce their stuff or something. Well, I'm at Charity Daw all across the board. That's my email, my website, all my socials. So that's an easy one for me. Yep. 
and uh, it's the same with me. But we also do have a, a LinkedIn page that's just the two of us. Yeah. That's the two of us together. So that's that's. Charity Dot and Josh Edmonds. Yeah. So that's if you want to reach out to both of us, that's probably the best place to do it. Okay, that's awesome. I want to thank you guys so much for being on the show tonight. This was fun, and I'd love to have you guys on again anytime you want. Oh, Absolutely. That'd be Thanks great, man. Thanks for sharing your platform with us for the evening, and it's always great to connect with writers and people who are just killing it, out there doing it. Yeah. Awesome. So thank you to all the listeners out there for spending a little bit of time with the three of us. We hope your own unique story gets heard around the world. My name is Sorantos, and please join me every Tuesday night to your other amazing artists share their fascinating behind-the-scenes stories right here at the Songwriter Show on Reality Radio 101. I love you guys. Have a great night.
Show. To keep the momentum going, head over to www.songwritershow.com and join our free music community of artists, songwriters, and producers. That's www.songwritershow.com.